Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be reinstalling Windows uh, with this Dell OS recovery tool. So I was talking to an agent um, about how to reinstall Windows and this is what they recommended that I do. So the first thing that you need to do is to download the recovery tool. It has downloaded, then it will set up. So you need to install it. So of course, um, before um, doing the recovery, you must back up all of your files. Otherwise, you won't be able to get that back. So you need to select the computer. So in this case, it auto detected, or you can find your service tag and then input it there. Then I can click next. Then you'll need a USB drive with at least 16 gigabytes of space available. So I need to connect a, um, a drive first. So um, I'll be back once I get that drive. Okay, so I have a flash drive that is currently connected to the laptop. So um, I, I don't know if I've already mentioned this, but um, the software says that at least 16 gigabytes of space must be available. And um, whatever drive you connect, it will completely be wiped out and um, something new will be added to it. So if you want, you could format the drive in advance. So it might be slightly quicker that way, but I believe it's already empty anyways. So I guess I can continue. Okay, so this is going to take about two minutes. In the meantime, I guess I can continue reading what the next steps are. We've done everything until step two so far. Step three tells us to choose the operating system, but that was already done for us, um, Windows 10. If you do get the option between, say, Linux and Windows, I'm guessing you'll just want to choose the one that the laptop came with. And the fourth step is occurring right now, I assume. So basically what this um, recovery does is it makes your laptop... Um, Sorry, it brings your laptop back to the state it was when you first got it from the manufacturer. So it's not like the same as a complete Windows reinstall, which completely gets rid of everything the manufacturer installed before they gave it to you. But instead, it'll bring back everything that Dell installed after a fresh Windows installation, basically. So you'll still have Dell Support Assist and any other apps that Dell already had installed when you got the PC out of the box. Okay, um, that... Two minutes changed a few hours. Um, I'll be back once once this is done. Okay, so the OS recovery software from Dell has um, finished um, uploading everything that needed to be uploaded into the USB flash drive. So that took a little over half an hour. Um, the, the next steps are displayed over here. Um, I have to insert the flash drive is already inserted and then restart the laptop and click F12 to enter some menu. And then I have to do a repair or reset and then Windows will be set up and then that will be finalized. So I'll start with the restart. I can close some of the apps that I have open. Or I guess the restart can just start as is. So I guess I can tap F12. It'll prepare um, something that's known as the one-time boot menu in the top right corner of the screen according to the instructions. Okay, yeah, so it said that. Now I'm supposed to click UEFI boot, select the USB recovery drive, so that would be this one. And now I believe the process has started. Yeah, so it started, I'll um, continue recording after the recovery is finished and give you an update, give you, a, give you all an update on how it's looking. No, oh, actually, um, as soon as I stopped recording, um, I got this pop-up for this walkthrough, so I might as well just do that real quick. So there's this dashboard where you can access various tools for the OS recovery. The next button is a bit laggy, I guess. Update now, so it'll let me update, I guess. Okay. So this is a hardware scan, but I, already, I believe I already did this with support assist, and then, then there's a repair option.
Okay, so I guess I'll try these out now. Okay, so I did the sc uh, hardware scan and everything was fine. I don't think I'm gonna bother with the repair because I'm gonna reset it anyways. Um, this is the point where you wanna make sure that you have everything that you want backed up, already backed up. If you haven't, you can try using their backup system. Um, but I was kind of afraid of backing up everything because I was afraid that whatever malware or adware I might have, um, which is the reason I'm doing this reset in the first place, might get transferred as well. So I chose the specific folders and videos, pictures, whatever I wanted to transfer to the external hard drive, and that's what I did. So everything that I need is in this external hard drive already, uh, if you can see that. So I'm going to go and get started with the reset through Dell Support Assist OS Recovery. So I would like to reset. Uh, I don't know why that is not an option. This should take 40 to 45 minutes. I'm guessing it might take over an hour because I do have quite a large part of the hard drive or sorry, um, SSD already used up. Yes, I will go with the recommended settings. Uh, wait a second. No, I would actually like to get rid of all of my data. Reset will permanently delete all system data and personal files on your hard drive. You won't be able to retrieve these later. Yeah, I already have them backed up. If you wish to keep the data, I guess you could do that. Uh, this is in red, so I'm going to make sure that I've read everything properly. That's your data. You can edit your preferences in the next screen. Yeah, no, I think I'm good with the personal files getting deleted because I do have it backed up. This is one last warning, I guess. Okay, so I guess the issue is a uh, virus or malware issue, so that's the reason for resetting laptop. Next. So this takes one to five hours, so this will take a while. So I will keep you guys posted after this finishes. Okay, so it seems like um, the OS recovery thing is done um, cleaning the drive, so it's asking to remove the support SS USB drive, so I just did that right now. Then it says to restart um, the computer and set up Windows, so I guess that would mean clicking this restart button and then it'll finalize some stuff with support assist and the recovery assistant. So the restart appears to be starting. Hopefully all went well and I'll see the laptop set up the same way it was the day I first got it, which I think was back in the December of 2019, if I remember correctly. Okay, so it says preparing Windows, so it does look like it's like a fresh install of Windows and this is completely like I guess you could say quote unquote factory fresh or whatever so um, yeah I'll just continue after everything is loaded and if it asks me to set up Windows which I think it will I'll do that and then I'll just check a few final things like the uh, the apps that are already installed I'm guessing I'm gonna have support system and some Dell apps already installed and I'll check the the solid state drive and see how much space it has left. Okay, so um, here is the window setup. I'm going to quickly speed through it. Um, I mean, I'm going to use time lapse. So, see you after the time lapse. Yeah, no, this is taking a while. I, I'm just going to cut. So there we have it, uh, the reset was pretty successful, the OS recovery worked. Um, you can see that um, the support assist opened and it shows us the final and fifth step of the recovery, which is, I hope you can see this, it says uh, finalize recovery with support assist recovery assistant and those are the rest of the steps. So I guess I can click continue now, uh, I should zoom out. Please access your system information to troubleshoot issue. Sure, I approve. You like to retrieve files from your last backup. I don't think I did a backup, so I'm going to go not now for now. 
um, sure. But yeah, um, after that, um, everything should be pretty straightforward. So I hope that you found this useful. I'll just be resetting Windows um, and changing the settings like it was before. But I hope this helped. Goodbye. Uh, hey again, guys. So um, that last bit was recorded a week ago. So uh, it's been exactly seven days. Um, I did say that I was going to check the hard drive and see how much space is available and whatnot. So um, right after the reset, I took a screenshot of the hard drive space available. So there were there was 395 gigabytes available, which is considerably less than the 512 gigabytes, which is advertised um, with the tech specs, uh, technical specifications of the laptop. So um, this is quite a bit less, but you do have to keep in mind that Windows takes some space and this um, reset brought back all of the apps that it came with um, after Dell installed their apps, which included Support Assist and some of other Dell's apps, which you can, some of the other Dell apps, which you can see here, I'm assuming. Um, these ones I installed, Shotcut was for editing this video, OBS for the screen record. This is actually this pesky app where I got the adware and malware from, which is the reason I had to do the reset to begin with and VS Code for some personal stuff. So yeah, as I mentioned earlier, this is basically um, the state it was in when Dell gave you the laptop and not exactly the same as a complete fresh Windows installation. Um, and one last thing, um, if you did use a flash drive for the uh, Dell OS recovery, you'll likely see that it now has two partitions due to that. So if you do wish to wipe it and um, make one partition again, I just finished recording this video a few minutes ago, which is uh, wiping and removing flash drive partitions, um, which I did uh, with my flash drive. And now it's back to one partition. So um, if you want, you can watch that too. I'll link to it um, at the end of the video and I'll also put it in the, I'll also put it in the description. Um, once again, thanks for watching and uh, goodbye for real this time.